Hi everyone, happy Easter. Today I'm going to be giving a really, truly honest from my own experience review of the Warwick Maths course. Now I'm on the straight maths course doing MMath, so that means I'm registered to do four years, but of course that's dependent on the grades that I get this year, next year, and obviously not on my fourth year. So I'm a second year math student. So I'm going to be thinking about different aspects of a course. So this will include the actual course itself. So the modules available, the opportunities available. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the department. So what does Warwick Maths do and offer that other departments don't? And then finally, I'm going to be talking about opportunities available by being at Warwick Maths. And hopefully within that, I'll talk about kind of how they help you with future career paths. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was the course itself. Now, my favorite, absolutely amazing part of Warwick Maths is the freedom you get from doing this course actually to then branch out into various other areas that you might not be able to do on a specified maths course in another university. Now, what I mean to say is not only do we have core modules that everyone has to take, but actually last year, in my first year, we were given the opportunity to choose actual optional modules and they did not have to be part of the maths department. So I actually have been doing about 20% of my degree in the economics department. So I've, I've taken over 20% of modules uh, that I need to do for credit in the economics department. So completely not maths related module. However, there are certain restrictions to this. So you can't obviously go to the economics department and do their maths module because you're a maths student. It's going to be too easy. Easy credit isn't really what your degree's about. So um, what I tend to do actually is um, pick um, mostly branching out and then I tend to pick one module kind of for my own well-being if that makes sense so for fun and the module I did for that this year has been genetics which is an IATL module so interdisciplinary you don't need any biology knowledge or anything like that which has been really nice and refreshing but also you can actually further your maths knowledge in other departments so for example this year I'm taking number theory and I know that leads in nicely to some uh, computer science modules. So the other thing is you're actually able to take optional modules within the maths department. So this is what most other universities have. So Warwick has a really large range of modules you can take. So if you're more of the type of person who wants to do things like um, applied stuff or like differential equations, there's a whole load of differential equations modules available. Um, so for this year, I know there's like theory of ODs, PDs, all sorts, all available differential equations. You can take those. Now, I tend to do more of the abstract stuff. So this year, my optional modules have been number theory, and I want to go into more kind of group theory, rings, that kind of thing. So at the moment, that's all core. But hopefully next year, I'll get the chance to pick what I'd like to do. Now, the way it works is we have a credit-based system. So you have to take 120 credits, or CATs as we call them. And out of those 120 CATs, at least 90 of them have to be maths. So actually they give you, I think around 60 core credits. So you have to take these modules. So that's things like analysis, algebra, um, multivariable calculus, those are all part of the core modules and then you need to add on a couple of extra modules that you think will bring you up to the number that are 
part of the maths department modules. But then after that, you have actually not just 30 credits, but you can overcat. So you can take an additional 30 credits if you want to. And the way they do that is they weight it and they end up only counting your best 120 credits out of the um, optional modules. But um, so essentially the idea is that you actually get 150 credits to spend on modules and then you only need to do 120. So you have a bit of flexibility. So if one year there's not really any optional modules you want to take, you just have to get it up to 120 cats and then you can do um, just those and then if you're kind of looking at modules and you're like oh there's so many things I want to do this year then you can pick pretty much all of them depending on how many you want to do. Now you have to remember that actually taking a lot of credits is a lot of work so last year I did bang on 120 credits and the first year is tough there's a lot of assignments for our degree. Um, I remember at one point I was having five assignments a week which is a lot and um, I'd say each assignment could take me from four hours to ten hours so it was a lot of work seriously it's not like um, A levels at all but don't feel like you have to overcap because I mean the opportunity is there but it is a lot of work so just you can kind of balance your workload depending on how much you want to do and how much you're interested in which I think is quite nice and and I think Warwick is a lot more open to students being able to explore interests that aren't necessarily directly maths related or maybe maths related but in such a way that it's actually really applied to subject area that you wouldn't get to explore within an actual maths degree. So I know a lot of people take computer science options. I've been doing a lot of economics but also if you decide actually I really enjoyed biology at A level then you can submit an unusual options form. Now if you google uh, Warwick Maths Handbook it tells you kind of the optional modules available and also the core modules for this year. Obviously it's subject to change but that's kind of a rough idea of what they offer. Now you might see that actually even though I'm saying there's loads of optional modules available it's not that much but actually the reason why I say that is because there's a process you can go through where you submit an unusual options form and your tutor and um, um, and the rest of the department will have to approve it but as long as you have a reason for wanting to do a module they'll allow it so if you want to do biology then and you have a reasonable reason for wanting to do so and the modules are an appropriate level for your degree then they will let you so th this is what i had to do for the iatl module so it's it's not maths related at all but i was i was allowed by my tutor to go and do it so this is really the biggest um benefit of doing maths at warwick um other things about the course i'd say we get quite a in-depth knowledge and i think they really do uh, teach a lot of content and we get through a lot more. Uh, quite a few of my friends do maths and I noticed that we've actually done um, occasionally more content than them in a shorter period of time. So there's upsides and downsides to that obviously but um, in terms of wanting to learn from your degree I think it's excellent. So the next thing I really wanted to talk to you about was kind of the department as a whole. So what makes Warwick Maths special? And for me, the standout thing is actually just the sense of community. Now, the, obviously you guys haven't had the chance to go to the department, but um, you would notice that there's ping pong tables in the department, which is pretty cool. There's loads of workspaces. We have the undergraduate study room where you can go there and there'll be other people who are doing the same degree and you can ask them for help. Now, Warwick Math Society is a huge part of the maths department and they actually are so helpful. Even if you're not registered as part of the society, they provide revision resources, um, 
they've been doing talks about certain modules if we've been struggling with them and overall they've been really helpful and I think that's it's quite amazing to have that kind of uh, sense of community and cohesion between the actual department and the students in the department helping the students together. Um, the other thing and actually I think this is what makes Warwick Maths Department special even against other subjects in Warwick is uh, Banana Wednesday. Now it seems like such a small thing but um, every Wednesday we get an email saying there are now bananas in the undergraduate office please come and get one and have a chat with us and they have a weekly focus for um, various things so they'll run uh, talks or workshops about um, uh, like student health and uh, even in lockdown they've maintained this so helping you with revision and stuff like that and it's really nice to have that kind of awareness that yes a degree is actually hard and yes we realize that you have a lot of work but here let's take a break let's have a banana and catch up and see how you're doing so that's really nice uh, the other thing is we get personal tutors now i know um a lot of universities will have something like this and actually at warwick you have um well i had actually been given a supervisor in the first year who was a third or fourth year student and they marked your assignments so that's quite nice to ask questions to someone who's already been through the course and actually they provide really invaluable uh, feedback on optional modules as well so obviously they might not be interested in the area that you're interested in but especially for the uh, lower years you kind of still haven't specialised yet so their module feedback is really really helpful. Um, so that's a supervisor now you also have a tutor and the tutor is more for things like obviously references and they're also there to kind of support you if you need help um, so actually this year which I think isn't what normally happens and it's due to kind of lockdown um, our tutors have been marking our assignments so it's really nice to kind of have that um, connection with your tutor and then have them give you feedback um, actually tutors are your kind of first place to go if you're having trouble with something I know I tell my tutor if I have to go to the hospital or if I'm ill or something like that um, so they're there to kind of guide you through the degree and help you with anything that you need finally I want to talk about opportunities available by going to work so um, actually I was kind of interested in doing a study abroad year and obviously because of Covid the opportunities are quite limited. Um, this is okay because um, there's still actually a lot of opportunities available but they're all um, European countries as far as I'm aware. So I haven't really looked into it properly and I don't even know if the information I looked at was updated fully. But if you're considering doing a study abroad year, then it's really worth checking before you accept a university, actually what options do they have available. Now you have to be aware that these opportunities unfortunately do change over time and you might see that there's a really good university on the list that you really want to go to and then when it's your turn to go on a study abroad year that's no longer available. But these things happen and I'd say Warwick actually does have a lot of really good opportunities in Europe available at the moment so that's definitely something that Warwick department offers. Uh, the other thing is we have actually I get hundreds of emails every week <laughs> that's a bit of an exaggeration but I get a lot of emails every week um, that are about uh, work opportunities so they have fairs where they bring in um, employers and certain companies and you can just go and talk to them now I think especially as I'm progressing through my degree this is something that I actually do need to start thinking about and it could be a good way for you to find out about internships and to actually speak to someone who's going to employ you potentially in the future 
Now, this is a really good way also to get some tips from employers and stuff like that. So that's really helpful. And I think um, it's a really good way to kind of start thinking about what you're going to do after your degree. And Warwick's been doing this, um, even online actually, throughout lockdown, um, since I started my degree. So I think that's pretty amazing. Now, uh, that's kind of it for maths at work, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, or you can alternatively message me, or of course any other math student on the Our Work community. I'll put the link in the description. But I hope this video has been really helpful, and let me know if you want to see anything in the future. It's locked down at the moment, so I'm kind of struggling to come up with video ideas. But I hope that this math course review will be helpful and that you will really seriously consider putting Warwick as your firm choice because um, I think it's incredible university. I think their math course is really, really good and I think it's worth it. So um, uh, the other thing I wanted to say is once you do pick your firm choice as Warwick, if you do, then please check out my other video on accommodation because that will be the next thing you want to start thinking about. You want to apply for your accommodation. The sooner you apply for it, the more likely you're going to get your first choice. So I hope you all have a great Easter, enjoy the rest of your holiday and good luck for your exams.